Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a minute, we've just had so much stuff going on here at the house, as most of you know, but I'm back, and today I'm gonna be doing a get ready with me. Since I am not a beauty YouTuber, this is where I film get ready with me. So I have this really deep windowsill right here where I have my camera sitting. Um, in my bathroom, I don't have like a vanity where I can just sit down and do my makeup and have somewhere that it can, like to film. I'm out of breath from pregnancy all the time, so I'm gonna be out of breath in this video. Disclaimer, it's the pregnancy. But there's nowhere really in the bathroom for me to set up like a vanity with a chair where I can, where it would be like, make sense for me to sit and film. And I don't wanna stand up because I know that these always get really chatty and I just felt like this is as good as it gets for doing a get ready with me. I've got a ring light on, hopefully this lighting is gonna work out and just doesn't wash my face, face out. But I just got a spray tan earlier and I didn't do where it has a bronzer included. I like to just have it go on clear and then develop overnight. So. If I look a little bit greasy or shiny, it's because I've got the DHA spray tan on developing right now. So I'm gonna start with this new primer. This is a Lancome La Base Pro, and I think I've used it before, and I like I didn't realize when I was buying this that I think I've already used it before and it wasn't my favorite, and I'm hoping, I hope that I'm wrong. Let me turn this light up a little bit. I hope that I'm wrong because I really want to like it because the reason I bought this today is because the reviews are amazing on this primer. It's got like near perfect reviews. Um, my two favorite primers, if you are new here, my two favorite primers are the Becca First Light Primer. It's the purple one. And if you like a thinner primer. And if you like a thicker primer, I like the Bobbi Brown um, Vitamin Enriched Face Base. So let's see how I like this and how it compares because um, the reason I'm not using one of my favorites right now is because I'm literally completely out. So, when I went to the store today, I bought this instead. Oh yeah, I've definitely used this before. It's like, it feels like silicone. And it smells like silicone. It's very soft. It goes on really smooth, so I like that. Oh, something that I forgot to grab that has become part of my beauty routine again is the Ren Instant Firming Beauty Shot. I'm gonna go grab that because this is the point that I put that on. So I used to use this every single day religiously without fail. This is what it looks like. And what I do with it is I put it on fine lines. Since I'm pregnant right now, I cannot go get Botox. So I'm putting it on these lines. And I used to always put it on my neck because I felt like when I was pregnant, these lines came out a lot more than usual. You're supposed to just... How weird was that? My ring light started flickering when I, like, right as I started padding. That was bizarre. So they say you're supposed to just pad it like this. Okay, and the baby monitor just turned on and no one is here but me. Gonna try and just ignore that. Um, I'm not paranoid at all. Um, pat that in wherever your lines are. And this does work extremely quick. But you do have to keep applying it every single day because it wears off. Something that I need to do to my face is lift this because as I'm getting older, it's pushing down, causing this fold right here. So that's something that I can't wait to do. Let's pull it back. It gives you a much more youthful look. And I'm actually going to put this around my eyes as well. And before you guys say how vain I am for saying that. This is a beauty video after all, so let's just take it easy there. So now we're gonna move on to um, foundation, and I'm going to be using 
today because this is what I like my look for a normal just everyday um, Monday through Sunday look. I've been using this for years. This is the Amazon Tarte Amazonian Clay BB Tinted Moisturizer. I'm gonna put links below in the description bar to every single one of the products that I show in this video. So make sure you check those out when you're done watching. But this is the Tarte Amazonian Clay BB Tinted Moisturizer. And then I just have a beauty blender here. It's already damp. Oh, my battery is dying, of course. It's already damp. So I am... I used to put this on with my hands, but people were like complaining, saying how gross it was that I put on with my hands, and so I got self-conscious, and now I use a beauty blender. This, I would say, is a light to medium coverage, probably more on the light side, and the shade I have is light. So there's that, and now I have a new concealer. I still love the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. It's a great, amazing concealer, but what caused me to switch it up and try something new is that now that I'm getting these fine lines around my eyes, I'm really like starting to notice makeup getting into the, the little creases, and so I've kind of just wanted to switch it up and see if I could diminish it a little bit. And I think this new combo that I've been using does diminish that look. It's always um, <laughs> interesting when you look in the mirror and you see new lines that weren't there before. But I do feel like the more makeup you put on, the, the more it ages you. In my opinion, unless it's the perfect makeup, powder and foundation and concealer can just set in those lines and make them look more defined. So this is the Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. It's tiny, but I really like it in this color. The color that I have is light neutral. And then I go back in with the Beauty Blender to blend it out. Oh, I almost forgot. So I've been using this thing called a Derma Flash. I think that's what it's called. I'm going to need to use it again because I just noticed that my peach fuzz and little hairs are starting to come back. Even like my mustache is coming back. But this Derma Flash tool is really cool. It's a razor blade and it has like a vibrating um, setting on it. And you just like, you thin, it's like shaving your face basically but it's like you're like thinly, um, you're removing like this top layer of crap on your face as well as the um, little baby hairs. And so after I use it, I've only used it one time, but my face felt like completely new skin. It was amazing. So it's getting time for me to use that again. And I'll link that product below as well if you're interested in checking that out. This is the new powder that I've been using. The way that I found this was just um, by looking through Nordstrom's uh, top rated setting powders, their best sellers on the Nordstrom app. One weekend I was just kind of bored and needed a new setting powder. So I found this and after sharing it, a lot of people messaged me and said that it's like their holy grail, that they love it, it's their absolute favorite. Chanel Natural Finish Loose Powder, and the color that I have is Translucent 120. So, I use a, a secondary blending. This one is the Sonia Kashuk, I wanna say for Target. Um, and I just take a little bit like this. Didn't think that one through. Blow off the excess. And then I go in first and foremost under my eyes before the creases start setting in the um, concealer. And I just feel like it's a super smooth finish. Even smoother than the Laura Mercier one that I also love. That's like a lot of people's absolute favorite one. And I love it too. I have no issues with it. But I wanted to try something new because I feel like as I age, I have to like be more aware of my person, my skin and what's going on there? 
of my skin and the best products for my skin personally. And then I just finished setting all around my face. Now that is done and now I'm gonna move on to my brows. And this, you know, I've been using all sorts of different things for my brows lately, but I'm finally coming back around to the Anastasia, um, gosh, what's it called? Brow Wiz. So this is the first thing that I ever really started using when I started getting into nice makeup and brow products. My mom uses this, so she taught, told me about it. It's taupe. Um, and I just, I, I like the Dior one. I was using that for a while. I've used a lot of different products, but I always come back to this one. Okay, so they're filled in as much as they are gonna be, and in this lighting, they look really dark, but they're not as dark as they seem. So now, Was there a sound? Am I going crazy? <laughs> Another new product that I'm using now is the Anastasia, gosh, um, Dip Brow Gel, and this is taupe as well. Um, I normally use the clear brow gel to set my brows, but last time I got my eyebrows waxed, um, she recommended this to me, and so I liked how it looked when she put it on me, and I think it's really subtle. So I'm using this now instead of the clear gel. And this is actually waterproof. So we're gonna move on now to um, eyeshadow. If I can find my brush. Okay, so this is the Sigma Eye Shading E55. Um, and I am going into the Naked Reloaded palette, uh, Urban Decay, obviously. I have seen some people say, like, Urban Decay, just give it up already. Like, why do you keep making naked palettes? And I will give you an answer to that. They keep making naked palettes because they're good. Um, I don't have a problem with it. So I'm going to, this is just, remember, this is just for, like, a day-to-day -day look. So I'm going into Bribe, which is the, this, like, nude color and I'm gonna just put it all over my whole eye lid. Now I'm going to go into Angel Fire which is right here third from the left and go up underneath my brows. Now I'm going to take the Sigma Blending E25 and I'm going to get the blur color, the far one. And I'm going to do the outside of my lid and my crease. So now I'm going to do, I don't do this every day, but sometimes I take this tiny little brush, which is the Sigma Winged Liner E, I can't even read it, it's the Winged Liner one, I've had this for so long. Um, and then I go into End Game, which is this brown color, and then I just go onto the top line. need to brush off. I usually use like a big puffy brush just to get any fallout out from under my eye before it like sets it onto anything. Okay, so now I need to brush out my lashes. I have false lashes. They're not very full right now. And I normally have a brush that I use specifically for that, but I broke it. So I'm just going to use the end of my, I'm going to use my brow brush. It's not big and like fluffy really. So it's not really for this. Okay, that's as good as it's gonna get today. I need to make an appointment. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the bottom line and 
normally I kind of um, do, I use a, not that brush. So I'm going to start with using end game, which is that brown again and kind of lightly do the bottom line because the last thing that I want it to look like is like a harsh line. I'm like barely putting anything down there. This is a Marc Jacobs mascara, Velvet Noir Major Volume Mascara. I'm gonna do blush, and the blush I'm gonna do is, one, one of my absolute favorite lines is Orgasm by NARS, and this blush is amazing. I also have like a loose one, um, I tried the stick, but I, the stick was the only thing that I didn't like. I just love this shade with my skin tone. It's beautiful. I'm going to use this Sephora collection that I got with, I thought it was Rogue. I thought that this was pronounced Rogue, but this is the Rouge, right? 2018 Rouge reward that they gave out was a blush brush. And so I'm going to use this just to apply this orgasm blush that I love so much. This is a highlighter that I use on days that I want to be like very extra because this highlighter goes a long way. It's the Iconic London Highlighter and it's very, very shiny. So I don't wear this every single day. I wear this if I'm like really like have something like an event or I'm going out to dinner or something like that. So this one you can wear on a daily basis if you like to have like highlighter to the gods every day. Um, but an everyday highlighter that I love and that I've showed you guys for a while now is this Too Faced um, Pineapple Paradise Strobing Bronzer. Pineapple Sun. It actually smells like pineapple. So this is what it actually it smells like sunscreen kind of. That's what it looks like inside. And I use this fan highlighting brush, strobing fan F42 by Sigma to apply it. I mean this also it gets um, can get very shiny, but it's buildable, so you can do it lightly if you want, or you can get wild. Up to you. And I go straight. Usually I go up. Like that. And then I use the other side for bronzer. But when I'm like doing my little um, contouring, I use this as an iconic London brush. It doesn't have a number on it. They come in a set. Um, I do this on the side of my nose. I use this little one. Not too much or else it looks really obvious. And then for the bronzer part, I just use a bigger one. And I start right underneath where the blush is. And then I do the same thing just around my hairline. A lipstick and a lip gloss that I'm loving right now, the lipstick is the In Spades Power Stick by Sigma. And the lip gloss is Shannon Rose's um, own, she has her own lip gloss and she sent that to me. So now I'm going to set everything with the Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray. I like this one because it's cooling. Lip gloss that I'm loving right now that I don't have because it's in my purse and my car is the NARS Orgasm Lip Gloss. And they have like a, a um, they have, they also have a lip balm that I love that I wear when I'm really, really casual. The lip gloss is, you can, it can go one of both ways, casual or nice. And then they have a lip, I think it's either a lip lacquer. It's either, I think it's a lip lacquer or a lip polish either one but it's like intense um my focus it's like an intense like shiny metallic like bam in your face so you have to be completely done up for that one but 
I saw someone shared a post from Trend Mood that said that they're expanding the orgasm line and I'll be the first one to order every single thing from the new line like the second it's released. If it's already released, I'm going to check right now after as soon as I'm done doing this just to see because I'm obsessed. It's like my all time favorite line that there ever has been. So now let's move on to my hair and I'm going to show you guys how I style, style my hair on a regular basis. So now I'm going to blow dry my hair because it's still wet. I put it up into this bun, just wet and just, it's a mess. So you guys, if you watched my last one, you saw that I used this Moroccan oil styling cream, hydrating styling cream. And I put that in right before I blow dry my hair every time. I think I even probably put it in right after I got out of the shower, but this is from last night. <laughs> So I slept in it in that bun, like wet. It's like all curled around because of how I put it up. But I put this cream mostly on the ends, but since I've had this all this postpartum stuff, I put some just like around my hairline because that's where all my like new growth is, growing in new hair from up being postpartum. The brush I use is a wet brush. This is the absolute best. Um, Amazon Prime has them, but if you don't have a wet brush, you are totally missing out. It is the best. I am having the most, like, I don't know why, but I'm really nauseous today. Um, I feel my stomach hurts. I keep having these stomach cramps and this nausea that comes with it. Like the second I get the cramp, I feel like I'm about to throw up. If I seem a little off, I just, I don't feel my best. I. The second trimester is supposed to be great, and it's not that great right now. I feel like I could throw up at any minute, but I'm determined to get this video filmed because I feel like I have to, this is like, I'm going off topic, but this is gonna be like a chatty thing. Sometimes it's hard for me to turn on the camera and be, and I've said this before, but sometimes it's hard for me to turn on the camera and just be like, hey guys, like, what's up like how's it going if i'm not feeling great physically or just emotionally in general if i'm not feeling 100 percent whatever the reason is and so that's why sometimes like videos don't go up because when i'm not feeling great i feel like it translates into my videos and i don't i've told you guys this before like i want my videos to be positive i want to put out a positive vibe in my videos so if i'm not feeling positive i'm not feeling great i don't want to come on here and be miserable for you guys so if I'm not doing great, there are no video, you know what I mean? I'm gonna separate it into two sides and brush it out and now I'm going to do like a more targeted um, dry if that makes sense where I go over like specific sections. Before I move on to styling it, I'm going to do like a cool blast, which helps seal the cuticle back down. Um, before you move on from blow drying your hair, you want to do a cold blast to help the cuticle seal back down so that it doesn't stay. When it's warm, it like opens up and you want to close it back off. Okay, so now, isn't that nice? I just got a straightener today and I'm dying to use this straightener. I've had the same straightener since college, so this is like the first straightener I've bought in around 10 years probably. Maybe a little bit less. Maybe 8 years. So, I'm very excited about this straightener. We're going to be using it together for the first time today. It's the GHD Platinum Plus and I like that it comes with this like, I guess it's you put it on it to like if you have to travel and put this back in your bag or whatever you have to do with it it protects the heat from melting anything and it holds it together which i think is really neat 
I've never had that before. This is what it looks like. It's beautiful. I'm getting a cramp again. And then right when it comes on, I feel like I'm gonna throw up. Okay, so there's like a little light blinking like that. So I'm assuming that once it stops blinking, that means it's ready to go. I really should have saved. No way, it can't already be ready to go. Stop. I was about to say, as soon as it stops blinking, it would be ready to go, but I feel like there's no way it's already ready to go. But it stopped blinking and made a little dinging noise. All right, let's take this front piece. Whoa, it is already ready. Oh my gosh, I can already tell the difference from my old straightener. So something I read about this is that it self-regulates. Whoa, that looks really good. It regulates the temperature for you so you don't have to like pick a temperature. Um, it apparently just knows what temperature you need it to be. It's amazing what can change in a measly eight or so years. I'm like shocked by this. So guys, this straightener is amazing. I like, I'm shocked at the difference between how I use, when I used to straighten my hair and now. So I'm gonna use this Batiste um, dry shampoo, Batiste. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, I just got it at H-E-B. Because my hair is like a little bit, oily right now. But dry shampoo also helps give you volume. Okay, so first, after I spray, I let it sit for just a couple seconds. This one smells good. It's the original scent. They have like a bunch of different scents at H-E-B. H-E-B is a grocery store if you don't live in Texas. So, um, then I kind of just like work it through the hair. And then I brush through. Yeah, this straightener gets like 10 out of 10 stars. Or whatever, five stars, a five star review. So apparently you can also curl your hair with the straightener. I don't know how to curl my hair with a straightener. Maybe I should look up some YouTube tutorials. I'm sure there's a ton.
All right, I know that light is like, okay, I turned the light down so there's not so much glare, but I feel like it's super sleek from what it was. <laughs> Okay guys, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, especially since you can't comment on the video. The only way I have to know if you like this video is if you give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. It helps my channel so much. So thank you guys once again for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell notification is on. Bye guys.